I'm Rebecca Valcarcel, and I am just back from the Camino de Santiago in Spain. I walked from Astorga to Santiago de Compostela, about 160 miles, and it was awesome. So I wanted to share with you today my toiletries and what worked for me and how I managed to get my pack so light was partly because of my toiletries. So I ended up with less than three kilos of gear that includes the backpack itself, and that's a little under six pounds if you're in the English system. So this is my actual toiletry bag. It's not beautiful, but a Ziploc bag is super light and super cheap. So that's why I went with a Ziploc bag. What's in here? Um, let me talk about dental first. This is the Z-Pax um, toothpaste and toothbrush. Here's the tiny toothpaste. I'd say this is about three weeks of toothpaste. Um, I got, you know, 18 days out of it, and I still had a little left. Depends on how much you use, of course. This is the top part of the toothbrush. There's a second section that can fit in to make a whole toothbrush. Um, the whole thing is like three ounces or something, and it, that includes the case. So, huh, it's really, really light. Honestly, though, I only need this part because I tended not to take the extra second it would take to use the, the extender. So I don't know, I might leave that home next time. <laughs> um, but this was, this was the perfect thing. Now I could have done tooth, instead of toothpaste, I could have done tooth tablets, chewable little tablets for toothpaste. They are very light, they, they work. Um, I don't love them uh, and this was so tiny that I didn't even have to take it out at the airport and claim it as a liquid. It was just, you know, it was so tiny. So I, I like that. Um, the tooth pellets are also very lightweight and everything, but th this was a little happier for me, just the style of paste. I took a comb. Try to make your hair as simple as possible. Um, if you have to take a lot of hair stuff, you're gonna load up your pack, it's gonna get heavy. Um, I saw people with long hair, short hair, but a lot of ponytails with the long hair um, and short, of course, is, is super easy. I actually got a haircut right before I started my Camino and I just said make it extra short since my, I've been wearing my hair short for a while anyway, but I made it extra, extra short. Dental floss. My little dental floss um, container would have been like four or five grams, so I actually... Um, took off 18 inch or so sections of floss and I put them all in this little bag and then it was only one gram. So I saved two, three, four grams by not taking the actual holder, but I had pre-cut lengths uh, of dental floss. So that's how hardcore or maybe crazy I am about weight. Um, and I put them in this tiny little bag. I think it was originally for pills or something, but it's a little Ziploc bag just for floss. So comb, floss, toothbrush. I did take a tiny nail file. That did come in handy. My nails took a little bit of a beating because I was going in and out of the pack and it just, just a little more rugged than my normal life. I also took this washcloth and this was my towel. So Lots of people are going to not make this choice and they want a full towel or at least a medium towel in this quick dry uh, fabric that's available at outdoors stores such as REI. Um, I actually bought this uh, washcloth from Rick Steves Travel Guides, their website, uh, many years ago and it's been great. It's a microfiber, dries fast. Did I love using just a washcloth? Um, I actually did. <laughs> Uh, again, my hair's short, so I, I just kind of made a once over it, let it air dry. And then by the time I got, you know, down to my toes drying myself, this was pretty wet. I could just wring it out and do a little more. And pretty soon I was air drying anyway. So yeah, I would take this tiny washcloth again and not carry a big, bigger towel. It, I'm not serious about the weight and, you know, on my shoulders, I just didn't want the weight. I, I and someone who's maybe heavy, uh, you know, stronger and bigger than I am, they don't care about that difference in weight. But I really did. Um, 
and that's how I kept it under under five under six pounds. Okay, I took diaper pins um, because these were my clothes pins or clothes pegs, as they say in Europe. You'll be washing your clothes and socks and um, now if you wear merino wool, you may not wash every single day, you not have to because um, merino wool has the antimicrobial properties. But if you have just a like a lycra or you know fitness type shirts and things, you're gonna need to wash them every day. Um, actually, merino wool is worth the investment, I think, if you have a little extra money. Um, but anyway, you're gonna be washing whether or not it's wool. And they do run out of the pegs at the albergues. They have clotheslines, of course, but um, bring your own either uh, clothespins or diaper pins. They were lighter for me to carry. Um, I did have to pierce, you know, a hole in my clothing to use them, but sometimes I just pierced through a tag or, or a loop and not the actual fabric. Other times I just, you know, it, it didn't hurt it to use these. So I liked those. And that's actually the last thing in my toiletry bag. I did carry two other things for my skin and that was sunscreen in a solid form and um, a chapstick. And these were great. They both, um, I mean, the chapstick had sunscreen in it. There's a lot of wind, you're outdoors. Definitely, I used it way more than I normally do in my normal life. Um, I liked the stick as a sunscreen because it, it was um, easier to get through the airport security and I just, I really liked that. Um, Oh, I lied, there was one more thing in my toiletry bag, soap. And this is my bag within a bag um, that was in the toiletry bag. This is a little mesh bag of my soap. And this is my shampoo, this is my laundry detergent, and this is my body wash. So, you know what, soap is soap, as I've been learning. So. Yeah, we have a lot of little variations, you know, to in the stores where we have 20 different kinds of shampoo and 20 different kinds of body soap and detergent, but this actually works to wash clothes, hair, and skin. And I used um, Pure Castile Soap, Dr. Bronner's. Pretty, pretty typical for hikers to use Dr. Bronner's. I did a bar, so I took a bar I microwaved it just a little bit to soften it, and then I was able to cut it into sections. This is one of the sections that did not go on Camino. This is the section that did. You can see it lasts pretty long. This was um, 18 days of use, and this is unused. So I would say this, this might last uh, um, a month of hair washing, skin washing, and clothes washing. Uh, if you have merino wool like I did so I didn't have to wash every single day um, yeah and maybe if your hair is long you need more too so um, yeah but this was super light and I found it to be also super cheap like this bar was like five bucks and I only used a portion uh, Dr. Bronner's makes a liquid here it is I thought this would be my Camino soap but it turns out I prefer solid. Not only does liquid have to be, you know, treated differently at the airport, but the solid is um, easier to see on an item of clothing that you're actually, that you put some soap on it. Like the, the liquid sort of disappears into the wet fabric. And then I can't really tell how much soap I put on or did any come out or the bar was just easier. So I like the bar and it was super cheap. So that was my soap, That was that, that's my whole toiletry bag. Oh, I will say this got mushy, and this is true of other solid soaps, such as Lush brand, which is very popular on the Camino. Um, so this is why I had the mesh bag. I would put the wet soap in the mesh bag, let it dry overnight, out, and usually it was dry by morning, but even if it wasn't, that's why I had the bag within a bag system where I tucked that in there. And then I could put it in my, <laughs> my fancier bag <laughs> and it wouldn't, you know, get things wet, such as my lovely washcloth. So I had a little system to control the moisture of the, the wet soap. Yes. All right. So that's my toiletry system. And that's part of how I kept my pack weight 
really low and my shoulders really happy on the Camino. Okay, buen Camino, everybody.